Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review the Marine 4 Moving Target. So, the Marine 4 Moving Target stars Mike the Miz Mizanin and Summer Rae. And what this film is about is about, you know, Jake Carter. He. You know, after what happens in the third movie, he is now becoming a, a, a is now in this witness protection program. He has to protect this girl who has vital information. So yeah. So what I think of the Marine Four. It was okay. It was not a bad movie for sure. Like you know, like one and two were one two were bad movies, but this one was okay. You know, I really enjoyed the third movie. The third movie was like, it was actually a good movie, you know? I think it had a lot to do with The Miz, because I think The Miz is by far the best Marine we've had in these movies, you know? So yeah, so let's get into the positives, and the positives are, like I said, The Miz. The Miz is really good in this movie. I, I thought he was good in this movie. I really liked him in this movie. He did a pretty good job, just like he did in the last movie. He was really good in the last movie. And he's good here, and he's the only one to reprise his role, you know, from uh, the previous movie. So, that's awesome. I really enjoyed him in this movie. He was, by far, the only good one in this movie. We'll get into more of the acting later, but he was really good in this movie. So, yeah, the action was really good in this movie. It was mostly when they were firing the guns, like the gun battles. Those were really good. I really enjoyed them. You know, they were, very, they were actually pretty, uh, more violent than I expected them to be because this is WWE, you know, and how WWE's PG nowadays. I know the movie's rated R, but I did not expect them to go at some point to, of, um, how they were going. So, yeah, it was pretty violent from what, from what I was expecting, you know. So, yeah. So, yeah, the action was pretty good. I like the directing. The directing was very nice with this movie, I thought. Um, the directing was very good, it was, I really liked the directing with this movie, the way he was filming the action, and especially for a straight-to-DVD movie, this is a really good directed movie in my opinion, so yeah. Um, you know, I did, I did enjoy, um, some, some of the, uh, I liked when, uh, Ever the Miz was with the, uh, girl that he was protecting, I liked kind of their back and forth, I did like that as well, um, you know, I did like the story. I wasn't, surprisingly, I was invested into the story. I did like the story of the movie, so yeah. Those were really my positives with this movie. Uh, my negatives, the rest of the acting, it's okay. But there are a couple people that were bad. Like, the girl he's protecting, I thought she was not good. She really wasn't. I found her annoying at times. And she was just... Just annoying. She really was at times, and I thought, you know, sh she was just really, really annoying. So yeah, um, the bad guys, I didn't, I they were okay. They were okay. Uh, Summer Rae, who is like on the poster, like she's with the Miz on the poster, the DVDs and everything. And I'm like, and she's not even. This is not really a spoiler, but she's with the bad guys. She's like one of the henchmen or henchwoman. You know, and a uh, way to false advertise the movie. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, like I said, the villains were just generic in my opinion. You know, just some generic villains in my opinion. Um, some of the hand-to-hand -hand combat was, like, whenever they were fighting, like, the hand-to-hand -hand combat wasn't really filmed all that well. It wasn't terrible, like, Taken 3, but it was just, it wasn't filmed to the, to the best. Some of the editing was weird throughout the movie, like, they do this, these weird flashy moments, and I just thought it was weird, the editing with it, so yeah. The writing wasn't the best with the movie, it wasn't all around that good, so yeah, I didn't really think the editing was really all that good in my opinion. Um, you know, the pacing, it was very, very slow, it really was, like, this movie is so slow, it really is. You know, uh, it, it just really was. I got bored at some point. It was very, very slow in my opinion, so yeah. Um, you know, some of the dialogue, some of the dialogue is not really that good in my opinion. I thought the dialogue wasn't really all that good, so yeah. Um, like, 
And my last negative will have to be like some of the effects weren't weren't good. But I get this is a straight to DVD movie and they don't probably have the budget like a um Hollywood movie, but it still didn't look good. Like there's just one car that explodes and it just looks awful. The blood I, I can't stand digital blood. It is terrible in my opinion. It looks terrible in this movie. Whenever someone gets shot, the digital blood just looks awful in my opinion, so yeah. So overall, the Marine 4 moving target was okay. Was not a bad movie for sure. Just was okay. So yeah. So it's time for my official grade on the Marine 4 moving target. And my official grade on the Marine 4 moving target is a C. Okay movie. Um, you know, I, I just thought it was okay. The Miz is really good, like I say. He's the only he's the only actor in this movie that I thought was at least like really good, so yeah. So, I just thought this movie was okay, so it's getting a C. So, what did you guys think of the Marine 4 moving target? Leave in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you all later. Peace.